In contrast to the influential role of Judaism in shaping Jewish identity, questions have been raised regarding the ethnic origins of Jews and the elements that define Jewishness. While the traditional narrative emphasizes descent from the Israelites, these ideas have come under scrutiny, as noted by Stephen Weitzman, a specialist in the Hebrew Bible and the origins of Jewish culture. In spite of substantial efforts made in recent decades to find genetic commonalities linked to biblical Israelites, it has become evident, as pointed out by geneticist Raphael Falk, that although there's observable genetic continuity within Jewish populations over generations, there isn't a distinct Jewish genotype. He notes that while detectable genetic continuity exists among Jewish groups, genetic markers cannot definitively determine Jewish descent. In the 1950s, Attempts to use markers like fingerprint patterns to characterize Jewish communities proved unsuccessful. By the 1960s, there was progress in tracking genetic diseases within these communities. Simultaneously, studies were initiated to analyze the convergence of blood group frequencies. During this period, research involving blood groups and serum markers revealed evidence of Middle Eastern origins among Jewish diaspora groups. Additionally, it highlighted certain commonalities between different Jewish populations in comparison to both paired Jewish and non-Jewish groups. Even though attempts to find blood group frequencies indicating ancestral connections to hypothetical ancient Jews were not fruitful, Falk notes that the lack of success did not deter some researchers from asserting claims of shared ancestry among these groups. As DNA sequence analysis advanced, it began to suggest shared ancestors among diverse Jewish communities and an overlap with Mediterranean populations. Both the initial studies focusing on blood markers and later studies involving the monoallelic Y chromosomal and mitochondrial DNA haplotypes demonstrated evidence of Middle Eastern as well as local origins with uncertain levels of local genetic intermingling. The diverse studies conducted during this time surprisingly converged on similar conclusions providing evidence of shared genetic ancestry among major diaspora groups, alongside varying degrees of local genetic admixture. During the late 1990s, biologist Uzi Ritter conducted a cross-analysis of Y chromosome and mtDNA sequences within six Jewish communities. This analysis revealed signs of admixture with neighboring communities of non-Jews. Additionally, a study of Ashkenazi mitochondrial DNA in 2013 unveiled the presence of four matrilineal founders, all with roots in prehistoric Europe, rather than the Near East or Caucasus. This led to the observation made by Raphael Falk that, not surprisingly, Ashkenazi Jews emerge as a distinct yet significant part of the European genetic landscape. Numerous genetic studies have revealed that around half of the genetic lineage of Ashkenazi Jews can be traced back to the ancient Middle East, while the other half has roots in Europe indicating a close connection to both ancient and contemporary Middle Eastern and European groups. The European genetic component largely derives from populations in Southern Europe. Several studies suggest that approximately 50% to 80% of Ashkenazi paternal lineages have their origins in the Near East, with some proposing that at least 80% of their maternal lineages originated in Europe. Most researchers currently support the idea that the early Jewish communities in Southern Europe, which are the ancestors of Ashkenazi Jews, are descended from both the ancient Israelites and from European converts to Judaism. Interestingly, in recent years, genetic studies have demonstrated that, at least paternally, Jewish ethnic divisions and the Palestinians are related to each other. Genetic studies have shown that Jews and Palestinians are closer to each other than they are to others. In a separate study, ancient DNA was compared with that of modern populations. It was found that most Arab and Jewish groups in the Middle East owe more than half of their DNA to Canaanites. The prevailing academic opinion today suggests that the Israelites were people that likely emerged from the Canaanite population, but separated due to religious differentiation that evolved over time into an ethnic distinction.